Hi, it's Jordan Teen One, and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute poodle bracelet. So you can see for this one, I did add these extra loops for the head and the ears just because poodles have that really curly fur. But if you didn't want to do that, I'll show you what the other side looks like. If you just want to do, do it regular without these extra loops, it would turn out looking like this. To make your bracelet, you can use either the alpha loom or the full-size rainbow loom. And I do prefer to make mine on the alpha loom for a few reasons. I like the fact that the pins are spaced a little bit farther apart width-wise, so that way your bracelet has a little bit more room to grow down in between the pins. And I like the fact that they're spaced closer together lengthwise, because that way those clear bands that tie the rows together don't have to stretch as far. And then another really important reason is because it has this alpha comb that has the seven hooks, which obviously will help you loom a lot faster. But I know that not everybody has access to the alpha loom, so you can definitely make this on your rainbow loom. You just need to have your pins set in line with one another, and you'll only need to use two rows of pins, so you can remove the third row or leave it on. It's up to you and then you would just use seven sets of pins that are straight across from one another. And you would want to remove those blue base plates from those seven rows so your bracelet can grow down. To make this bracelet, I used a total of 442 of all the colors and then 49 of the clear. So let me just break it down by each color. I used 41 yellow, 56 pink, 132 white, 78 turquoise, 12 black, 52 purple, 39 orange, 30 green, and 2 blue. And then as I said, the 49 clear, which just helped to tie those rows together. Now typically what I do when I come up with a new design is to just add the grid pattern and then tell you to pause your video to follow along with that to make your own bracelet. Because once you've made one alpha loom bracelet, you can pretty much make any bracelet by just following along with the grid pattern. But since this one's a little bit different because it has those extra loops, I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm just going to start out and I will add a small section of the grid pattern, just the beginning, and I will show you how to get started here. And any square that has a little L in it means it's going to get that extra loop. So you're going to start out the way you would start out any bracelet. You want to start with your first color, and the bands are going to go straight across, and you do need to twist these or make that figure eight, just so it doesn't come apart at the end. So you're just going to do that with whatever color you want your background to be. So obviously mine is yellow here. And then you're going to take your alpha comb, if you're using an alpha loom, or if not, you can do this on the rainbow loom, and use a credit card or something to push down. And then you're going to put your clear band that's going to tie the rows together, so it's going to stretch all the way from bottom to top on one side. So I'm going to keep mine over here on the left, and then I'll add my second row. So I'm still doing a solid color here. And you want to try and keep these bands as straight as you can when you're doing this. Sometimes it's a little bit more difficult. And what I like to do is to just use my hook and trace around these if I see that there's any kind of twisted bands. So you can just take a second and run around here and make sure that they're nice and even. Just 
just makes it look a lot nicer within the bracelet. And then I'm going to take the clear band and move that off and move it into the middle. And then I'm going to use my alpha comb to take the bottom row over the top. Do that for each side here. And push down. So now I'm going to do my next clear band. And you can do it on either side. I like to keep it consistent, so I'm going to keep mine over on the left. And I'm going to do my next row. So I have yellow at the top. Pink. And then I have three whites for the center. And we're not going to add that band just yet. This is just going to be a regular row here. Even though the loop will be right after this. And then I have pink. And then at the very bottom, yellow. Didn't quite make it on there. And again, I'm just going to straighten these out. Let me get that clear band over the top. And then the bottom comes off of each side. And push down. So here's where we're going to start to add that extra band. So this was our first three whites that were at the top here, top of the head. I'm going to take three additional whites, and this time I'm going to keep it on the right side. You do have to stay consistent on which side you put the bands on because it's only going to show on one side of the bracelet. So I'm going to make my front side be the right here. So I'm just going to put these white bands just on these three center ones here. I'm just going to sit on there. And then what I'm going to do is take my hook and reach down inside that band I just sat on there, grab the bottom band and pull it off of the pin but leave it on my hook. And then I'm just going to slip this off and get the one that's on my hook to go right back on. So that's just going to attach it there so it'll be that nice little loop when you take it off. So again, you're just reaching down inside the loose loop grabbing the one that's on your loom here. Pull it up, but don't lose it off your hook. That's important. Slip off the loose band, and then just put this right back on the pin. So everywhere that I have a little L, that's where I'm going to add my extra band. And then I'm just gonna move on to my next row here. So you got to do that clear band first. And then now for this row, I have two pinks on either end. So I'm starting with my two. I have those three whites for the center. And then my two pinks so the clear band comes off into the center and I'll do the rest here on the sides And then I have these three white that I want the extra loops on here. So again, I'm sticking to the right side for those extras. So I'm reaching inside, slipping it off and right back on. So it's really not too difficult once you get the hang of it. The main thing is just don't let it slip off of your hook 
because then it's going to start to come apart and it's a little bit tricky to try and get everything back together. And anywhere you want that extra loop, you just use that technique. So here's my bracelet once again, and I am going to add that full grid pattern above my bracelet, so then you can just pause your video and follow along with that. And don't forget that any square that has the little L in it is where you want to add your extra loops. So let me just tell you a few specifics about this bracelet. I used 50 rows, and the measurement is just about 7 inches, maybe slightly more. So I found that about every 7 rows equals an inch, give or take a little bit. So you can measure your wrist size and then determine the length of the bracelet you need to make. And if you did need to add or subtract any rows, you would want to do that either on the ends or in between your poodles. So the way that mine is set up, I have the two rows on the ends and then two rows in between each. I hope that everybody loves their new poodle bracelets. You can always leave me comments on YouTube and Facebook, post pictures to my Facebook page, and please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that way you will get the updates when I have any new tutorials uploaded. You can also find me on Pinterest and Instagram, so please feel free to subscribe to those as well. Thanks for watching!